Marvel Rivals just came out and the game is already incredibly popular, but it also comes with its fair share of bugs and crashes. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Marvel Rivals crashing on your PC. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, to fire up Steam. Once Steam is open, the, uh, what we're going to do is head over to our library. Then uh, select Marvel Rivals. And I'm just going to right click this and go to Properties. Now in the General tab, what you need to do is uh, disable the Steam overlay. Now this is not a sure short fix, but in some games the Steam overlay can cause crashes. Marvel Rivals is incredibly new. It's just arrived on the scene, so there is a chance that having this enabled can sort of give you a couple of problems. So this is going to go ahead and disable the Steam overlay while in game. And while we're at it, the second fix in here would be to go to installed files and uh, the verify the integrity of game files. So uh, this just checks if you have all of the game files that you need in order to be able to run the game. They're all updated, they're all, uh, none of them are corrupt and so on and so forth. So if a game is frequently crashing on you, it's always a good idea to come back and check the integrity of game files. Now, if you have the game on Epic, the exact steps for this are going to be different, but uh, you will easily find uh, that option also in your Epic Games library. The next thing we're going to do is to clear out the Marvel Rivals crashes folder in local app data. So press Windows key plus R to open run and type in local app data and click OK. A new folder will open up and in here we are going to find the Marvel folder. Once you double click this, go to save and you will see a crashes folder in here. Uh, as you can see, mine is empty because the game hasn't crashed for me yet. But if you see anything here, go ahead and delete it. After that, uh, you will see uh, in your config folder, you'll also see crash report clients. Uh, so this will be a crash report so you can read it to sort of figure out what went wrong. If that's okay. And uh, then there is your user settings. So we're going to delete this file as well. Once these two files are deleted, you can restart your computer and then relaunch your game. The game will automatically generate the configuration file and should start with the optimal settings to not crash. Next thing to do is to update your GPU drivers. Now, whether you have an Intel, AMD or Nvidia GPU, the exact steps are going to be different. I have an Nvidia GPU, so I'm just going to fire up the Nvidia app. In here, we are going to go to the driver section. And as you can see, I already have the latest driver installed, but uh, you can always check with this button to see if there are any updates possible. And while you're at it, also make sure that you're using the game ready driver and not the studio driver because the game ready driver is what gives you the best uh, performance when you're running a game. If that didn't fix the issue for you, the next thing you need to do is to check whether the game is actually using your dedicated GPU or not. Marvel Rivals can't run on an integrated GPU, so you need a proper graphics card for the game to run. Now to check this, we are going to open up the start menu and search for graphics settings. Fire up graphics settings here and here we are. Now uh, we've got a few things here, so if you scroll down this uh, list of applications you should see marvel rivals in here and now if i expand it you will see that a gpu preference is let windows decide and windows has decided that it should run in high performance but you can always click on this and uh, choose the gpu yourself so i can force it to run on my 4060 or i can just run it on my uh, intel arc graphics in which case the game will not run Alternatively, if you're running it in windowed mode uh, or full screen windowed mode, uh, it has this optimizations for windowed games. You can just toggle this checkbox off just to make sure that Windows isn't doing anything invasive with your game that can cause problems. Once you're done with these two settings, go back and relaunch the game and it should start working fine. The next thing to do is uh, to check for uh, in-game settings. Now for this, we are obviously going to have to launch the game. So let me just start it up. Get the permissions that it needs. And we shall wait. 
So we're going to click on launch to fire the game up. All right, once the game launches, you will see this settings gear icon in the top right. We're going to click on this. Then we're going to go to settings. This is before you enter the primary game. Now, once you're in here, the most important thing for you to do is to make sure that display mode is set to full screen. This really helps with crashes, especially when it comes to games. Uh, I have it on borderless windowed because uh, I have two monitors and running the game in full screen when you have more than one monitor can cause problems. But if you have one monitor, switch it to full screen. Make sure that you've got uh, NVIDIA DLSS or AMD or whatever uh, GPU you have in running in here. And your super resolution mode, you can set this to either balanced or performance, um, depending on how much of a quality hit it takes. Then uh, we're going to scroll down and make sure that VSync is disabled. As you can see, this is cross-checked here because I'm using NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. If I disable this, I'll have the VSync option. So even if you're not using frame generation, make sure that VSync is turned off. Alternatively, you can just have DLSS or FSR3, whatever your GPU supports, better to have uh, it run. Finally, uh, you can come down and you can change the graphics quality to either medium or low. Uh, low obviously will not make the game look as good as you would want it, but uh, it can help uh, with the game stability. Last but not least, it's always a good idea to make sure that your Windows installation is up to date. Now to do this, we're going to click, click Windows key plus I on our keyboards and head over to Windows Update. As you can see, I am already on the latest installation, but I can always just click this button to check for updates. And if there are any, they will appear. If you find any updates for your Windows, make sure you install them, restart your PC, and then try running Marvel Rivals again. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.